The team starts their latest adventure with Tom, who plays a rejuvenating springs. Then Extra plays a tap jungle shrine, Sam plays an island, followed with an infamous turn one soul ring. And lastly, we have John and his swap. Now we start off for real, with Tom playing an access tunnel and far seeking for a tapped hedge maze, surveilling the top card through the graveyard. Extra plays a spire garden and casts a priest of Titania. He passes to Sam. Sam plays a boulder lock pathway and continues his ramp streak with a 500 year diary before passing to John. John plays a swamp and casts Arcane Signet, then hands it back to Tom. Tom misses his land drop and casts Simic Signet, followed by Vine Trellis. He passes. Extra first cast Finn Hornell. He plays a Plains, followed by three visits, getting a forest into play, and a Silver Fur Partisan to finish off the turn. Sam plays a Yabimaya Coast, then casts Lavinia, foil to Conspiracy, and Thraven Inspector, which triggers Lavinia to make a clue, while also making another clue when it enters. The turn then moves to John. John plays another Swamp, and casts his commander, Massacre Girl, Known Killer. With that done, he passes. Tom plays an island for turn, and casts Tree of Redemption. He then casts Wall of Roots, activating its effect to generate one green in exchange for getting a minus O minus one counter. And with that mana, he casts his commander, the Pride of Whole Clay. He then passes the turn to Extra. Extra continues ramping, this time with a Kadama's Reach, putting a forest into play and another to his hand. He then plays a fortified village, revealing the added forest, and casts his commander, Voja, Jaws of the Conclave. Extra then moves to Zen Step, where Sam awaits, sacrificing his clue to draw a card, before heading to his turn. Sam has a modest turn with an island and a junk winder. And John one-ups him with playing just a swamp, before passing the turn to Tom. Tom again plays an island for turn, this time casting Feed the Pack, scaring the rest of the table with his woven potential. But Sam steps up, saying there's no need to fear, as he beasts within said potential, reducing it to a mere 3-3 beast, while taking a point of damage due to his mana base. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief, while Tom looks at his graveyard with a tear in his eye before passing to Extra. Extra seeing that a removal was just used, turns on the gas and goes to combat. Unfortunately for him, John left his mana up for a reason, that being a dismember, paying two life in order to kill Voja and pay for its pesky ward. This triggers Silurfer, who makes a wolf, and Massacre Girl to draw a card. In his second main, Extra casts Soul Ring, which he puts to use, recasting Voja. He then passes the turn. Sam plays a Hengegate Pathway, then finally casts his commander, Morska, under Sea Sleuth, paying one to the mana base gods again. He then casts Swords to Plowshares on Voja, paying Ward. This triggers Lavinia to make a clue, Winder to freeze Pride, and Silurfer to make a wolf. He then attacks John with the Winder and passes him the turn. John again plays a Swamp, followed by Umazava's Jite. He equips said Jite to Massacre Girl before going to combat and attacking Tom with her, which triggers Jite, giving itself two charge counters. In his second main, he casts Blood Artist and passes it back to Tom. Tom first casts an Omen Hawker. He then goes straight to combat, attacking John with his beast. John decides to not block, so Tom activates his commander to give the beast plus one plus zero and the draw text. The beast connects, and he draws three cards. In his second main, he activates Wall of Roots, making a green, in order to cast Hoverwall. He then passes, and on his end step, John uses Jite to give Priest of Titania minus one minus one, killing it and triggering both Massacre Girl and Artist draining extra. Extra plays a forest, 
and casts his commander, Voja's third. He then gets back at John by attacking him with two of his wolves. And on his end step, Sam sacrifices two clues, drawing two cards, and triggering Marska, giving you two plus one plus one counters. On Sam's upkeep, Marska triggers, making a clue, all freezing pride again with Winder. He then starts his turn by sacrificing a clue to draw, triggering Marska to give two more counters, followed by Novice Expector, making a clue, and freezing Voja by paying the word. He then swings Marska, Winder, and Lavidia at John, and passes. John expands his swamp army and goes to combat, attacking Sam with Massacre Girl. G-Day triggers, getting two more counters. In his second main phase, he casts Blight Breath Catablebus, using its ETB on Winder, and with the addition of G-Tay's minus one minus one, is able to take it down, triggering Massacre Girl and Artist at extra. He then uses G-Tay again, this time killing Omen Hawker, once again triggering Massacre Girl and Artist. After that, he passes. Tom first casts the Salt Formation and uses it to make Hoverwall able to attack. He decides to do so along with the Beast, sending them both at Sam. Once no blockers are declared, Tom activates Pride on Hoverwall and Sam takes the damage. This triggers Hoverwall to draw 6 before going to his second main where he plays an island, activates Wall of Roots for 1 green to cast 3 visits, getting a forest which is then used for an arboreal grazer putting an island into play tap. Extra plays a battlefield forge for turn, he then casts Arwen, Weaver of Hope, and Elvish Archdruid, which triggers Arwen, giving Archdruid two counters. He then passes, and on his end step, Sam sacrifices a clue to draw before going to his turn. On Sam's upkeep, Morska triggers making a clue. In his main phase, he plays a Dream Root Cascade and sacrifices a clue to draw, Triggering Marska, getting two more count. He then casts Sally Sparrow and passes. John adds to the swamp pile and uses some of it to cast Drivnod, Carnage Dominus. He then equips Gta to cat Oblipus before sending it at extra. Extra takes the damage and Gta gets two count. In his second main, he casts Malakir Reaper from cat Oblipus, followed by two Gta activations killing his own Catablepus, which triggers Artist, targeting Extra twice, Rebirth to return Catablepus, Catablepus to kill Hoverwall, Artist twice again, and finally Massacre Girl to draw two. Once the dust settles, the turn goes over to Tom. Tom goes all out on his commander, using its effect and access tunnel on it, before sending it in Extra's direction. Sam, however, would like to see his hand size stay where it was, so he casts Rapid Hybridization, turning Tom's commander into a frog lizard. Defeated, Tom recasts Pride of Folklade and passes. Extra first casts Arbor Elf, turning Arwen, giving Arbor two counters. With another elf on the board, Extra goes to combat, attacking Sam with everything he has available. Voja triggers, giving each creature 4 counters and drawing 4. Sam blocks Archdruid with Marska, Arwen with Novice, and 2 wolves with Thraben and Sparrow. After damage, Artist triggers 4 times at Extra and 4 times at Sam, causing Sam to bleed out. In his second main, Extra casts Gyre Sage and Bloom Tender, both triggering Arwen to get 5 counters. On John's turn, he plays, you guessed it, a swamp. He then casts Ruthless Disposal, discarding Massacre Worm and sacrificing Catablepus to kill Arwen and Gyre Sage. This triggers Massacre Girl four times and Artist six times, targeting extra. After that, he casts Liliana, Waker of Death, and uses her minus three, which in combination with a GTA activation kills Bloom Tender triggering Massacre Girl and Artist twice each. The turn then goes to Tom. Tom plays an island for turn and casts the Pond Drill, Hunger Dominus. He then activates Formation three times on Tree of Redemption, Pride, 
and vines. He then goes to combat, triggering his upon drill to double his creature stats, and attacking extra with all creatures able to attack. Extra blocks vines with Voja and Grazer with Arbor Elf. Unfortunately, it's not enough, and extra dies, leaving Tom with four artist triggers pointed at him. After that is settled, he passes. John plays another Swamp for turn, and casts Black Sun's Twilight for X equals 6, targeting Zapondro and Massacre Worm. This causes a massive amount of triggers, so let's go through them. Massacre Girl draws 2, Worm drains 4, Artist drains 2, Worm gives minus 2 minus 2 to each of Tom's creatures, Massacre Girl draws 2 again, Worm drains 4 again, and finally, Artist drains twice. Again. He then equips Jite on the Massacre Girl and attacks Tom with her and Drivnod. Triggering Jite and using the two counters to finish off the Frog Lizard and the Beast, which with both Worm and Artist is enough to finish off Tom and make John the victor.